The original Game Boy version of Asteroids features two Link Cable multiplayer modes. Easily accessible from the main menu, Link players can participate in competitive play or team play modes. Both modes take place on a single screen and both player ships are visible. Team play shares lives between both players whereas competitive play is a match to see who can earn a higher score. During the co-op game, friendly fire is not active but this changes when playing competitively. In fact, competitive games might only last a few seconds if both ships hunt each other instead of destroying the asteroids. Personally, I think the co-op gameplay is more entertaining because enduring with a partner at your side really makes this rock-destroying simulator more tolerable. Similar to the arcade original, one button shoots, one button randomly teleports your ship to a different location and holding up activates the ship's thrusters. Then, blasting the asteroids causes it to break into smaller, harder to hit pieces. And there are a few difficulty settings available from the main menu. A few years after this original Game Boy release, Asteroids was repackaged in the Asteroids Missile Command compilation cartridge. Sadly, the multiplayer mode was completely removed despite being the exact same game in this version. But this version has the option to play with the newer updated sprites or the original blocky visuals. And years later, Asteroids was once again re-released on Game Boy Color. Only this time, the two-player link cable mode was reintroduced. So if you wanted to play the handheld multiplayer mode of this arcade classic, just be aware of the different versions. Personally, I was never the biggest fan of Asteroids, but I still understand and respect it. The thrusting, low gravity control never quite felt right to me, and teleporting directly on top of an asteroid always felt cheap. However, tackling this score-based gameplay with a friend at your side is the preferred way to play and offers some quick burst fun. This is one of those games that's better when played using a link cable, but doubt many took advantage of this feature. But what do you think? Are you a fan of this space rock destroying simulator? Did you know about these link cable features? Which classic arcade game do you think would benefit from having multiplayer support? Let me know in the comments. And for more link cable content you never experienced for yourself, see the links to my dedicated playlist in the description. Until next time, thank you for watching and game on.